guys and welcome to my diary. I feel like we're not having a vlog last week. We have so much to catch up on. Uh, the wedding was amazing. I'm not going to show you too much about the... Oh, well, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to talk too much about the wedding today. Um, because I want to show you a little bit more and I'm still waiting for videos and photos and things like that. But it was amazing. It was so much fun and I think the couple is so happy and it was just so nice to spend time with the family and everything. But I'm going to tell you all about that next week. Um, I haven't washed my hair in like a week. It's like the longest I haven't washed my hair since uh, I went to Russia when I was like 14 years old and there was no hot water and it was winter and it was freezing. So I didn't wash my hair for a week then and it's been about a week now. So I know it's terrible but it's, it's kind of gross but I'm kind of proud of myself as well because I kind of, I rinse it out and then I put conditioner in and then I rinse it out again and so I don't know, I'm hoping it's healthy for my hair, I don't know but it is, I know it's about time for a wash. So ever since I was a little girl, I've loved Miss South Africa. I've loved watching it. I think it's the princess in me. Um, one of my aunts actually did it when I was young and she was one of the finalists. Well, you know, like one of the top 16 and everything. I went to Sun City and she had all these beautiful dresses and earrings and I just wanted to be just like her. Um, I actually entered a pageant once. It, it was called Little Miss Tinkerbell. Um, yeah, I know, it's actually kind of funny because uh, my nickname is Tink or Tinkerbell. Um, I've got a few friends that call me that and my dad always calls me Tink. Um, so, but anyways, this, this pageant I did, um, I kind of went in there completely cold. Like you said in these photos, and I, as a little girl I used to love posing and, you know, for pictures and this was my favourite. <laughs> um, so I made it into sort of like the finals where you would go up on stage and you walk and answer questions and everything. But all these other little girls were trained. And he has, and it was between, um, it was under 12, and I was 8, and I had no clue what I was doing. I've never trained, I never did anything like that, you know, so I kind of walk on, playing with my hair, you know, kind of stand there, fiddle with my hands, and, and then they ask me a question, oh, so who, who do you look like? And I'm like, oh, my dad, because he has blonde hair. So I have like no answers to questions or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a disaster, but I didn't even realize that. Um, but my, my parents did, and um, that was the first and last one I ever, ever did. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I think then my parents kind of steered me towards sports, and it was like, maybe sports more your thing. You know, that's the one thing about these beauty contests, and anything like that is, it's all about someone's opinion of you. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, there's no such thing as being the best, whereas sports, you have a winner or a loser, you know, you've either the, the best tennis player or the fastest runner, you know, they, there's a clear-cut winner where this type of thing is somebody's opinion of you, and I think that's kind of harsh. I find that very harsh actually, it's, you know, if people like you or not, if you don't rub people the wrong way and all that sort of thing, but I, I still love watching it and stuff. The only thing I don't like is um, when they have the top five, I wish they would all get the exact same question because how do you judge someone's answer when they have like a different question to somebody else? And also, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like they already know who the winner's going to be before the pageants even happens because they've got to know them. and. Which is good in a way, but it also then was like, what's the point of having the pageants? Um, yeah, so, and I was actually quite surprised that there's only 2,000 entries. Um, I thought there would have been, been way more, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I always enjoy that sort of thing. And like I said, I think it's maybe the princess in me. Okay, so I have to tell you this story. It's, it's a typical, typical Tegan story. Um, it was Women's Day. And it was like the Friday before my cousin's wedding, so it was big festivities and we had a bride and it was all fun and games until my cousin comes out with this fish. And apparently it's because he's living in Sweden now and apparently it's a tradition for the grooms, no not the grooms, the bride, yeah, there we go, I got it, I got it. The bride's dad to eat this fermented fish, but it is like disgusting. I can't actually, it, it is, I, I'm gonna show you the videos. The videos are not great, they're not the best quality, but you, you're gonna have to watch them. But this fish is disgusting, it still has its bones and its guts are like spewing out. And when they open the tin, it smells like the worst sewage you have ever in your life. Like the, the smell makes you gag, it is disgusting. But, so, the men, the men ate it, some of the men weren't too well, um, so some of them ate it, not everybody. Um, and then I was like, no, screw this man, why is all the men doing it and none of the women? 
and you know, typical me, I am like the biggest feminist in the world, but I, I look at myself as a different feminist. I believe in like equality and if a man can do it, a woman can do it type thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna eat some of this fish. But now I didn't want to get it on my hands because I did not want that smell on my hands, but I kind of just had to. And I had this huge piece. Like I, I think I had the biggest out of everyone. And everyone's just like looking at me like, what is this chick doing? And I don't, I don't even really eat fish and I don't eat fish with bones in here. I need to crack the bones and swallow it. And it, it, it tasted like, okay, I don't know what sewage tastes like, but it really, if, if I had to drink sewage, that's what I would think it would taste like. And the aftertaste just lingers with you. Um, thankfully, I didn't have a boyfriend or anything like that that I had to, to, had to kiss goodnight because I don't think he would come anyway near me. But yeah, check out the video. It's not good. Come on, man. Man, they want to go with it. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It's just the aftertaste. Just, just eat it. And <laughs> that is not good, eh? <laughs> so I really really don't know what to do about this 100 miler, um, yeah I really really want to do it, I really do, but it, uh, it's so far, um, my grandfather really doesn't want me to do it, which is a big reason that I don't want to do it, but to be fair, last year he didn't want me to do it, and I'm actually really glad I did do it. So I don't know, it gave me a lot of confidence this year and things like that, so I think it was good for me. But I know, 100 miles is really far and it is crazy. And guess what? I fell again. Can you believe it? And the, But this time I at least landed on my other leg. So now I can't touch either knee. Um, I was like, seriously, like what's wrong with me? I'm running and I just like fall over. Um, yeah, so that that's that. But uh, as for, I need to make a decision about this 100 miler now. It's like two weeks away, less than two weeks away. So yeah, and everyone's like, oh yeah, but you got to follow like some program and stuff like that and get yourself ready. I was like, no, 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 no. For me, I just wing things, you know? Like, I just go and I just do it. That's what I did last year. I remember I coached the whole morning before I actually ran. So, you know, the, that that works for me, but now I kind of need to make sort of an informed decision. Am I gonna do this or am I not? I know I can say, like, I know last year I said, oh yeah, if I, you know, if I'm tired or whatever, I'll stop. And I can say the same to myself this year, but I know if I start, I'm gonna wanna finish. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really in this tough place where I don't know what I want to do. Well, I know what I want to do, but I also, I want to do what's right as well. Um, and I suppose I'll never really know the, the right answer to that. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week.